Today, we have too many wheels, too many problems, not enough space. But we are going to paint our flaky GT wheels because they are well flaky. And this is a well known problem with the GT wheels. So if you're watching this, you probably have a 2014, 2015, 2016 Mazda 6 GT and your wheels are flaky. So let's see if we can fix that today. The biggest thing is that you want to get all the loose paint off. So any paint or powder coat or whatever this is that's going to sit there and do this, you want that off. Because if you don't get all that flaky paint off, then the paint that you paint over it is going to flake off. So prep work. I'm going with the Krylon Color Max Gray Primer. And the color I'm going with for the paint is going to be the Krylon Metallic Dark Metal. Let's get to sanding and primering. And yeah, let's see if we make these look a little bit better. This is going to be running them until we get the way it's rebuilt. So I'm going to start off, of course, with the spots like this. So I have some 120 grit sandpaper. And basically, you want to try to get all uh basically, if you can, what I try to do is that I try to feather the edges smooth. That way it will kind of keep it from chipping off. So that's my method. And it seems to work well for me with OEM wheels that flake. So what I'm doing here is what I'm gonna do with all of the spots that are flaking. There's no flaking, all the flaking bits are gone. And then I basically just kind of sand it to where it feathers smooth. That way, like I say, I, I can't even make it flake. So that's what I'm gonna do for every spot on all four wheels that's flaking. All right, after about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, I have all the spots sanded, edges feathered, you know, smooth for what it's gonna be for 120 grit. Like I said, just make sure you hit all the spots. Uh, so things like the curb rash, you know, I'm not worried about that at all. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and spend extra time getting this curb rash smooth because I just don't care. So we're gonna scuff the wheel with 220 and I'll be back after that. These wheels are a pain in the butt to sand because I've been in here for probably 45 minutes doing this one wheel and I still got three more wheels to do. So this is a big old eh, zero out of 10. I have some prep spray. I'm gonna spray it, clean it, wipe it down, make sure it's dry. And then we're gonna start getting ready for primer. So this is shiny. You can see that this is not shiny at all. That's what you want. You don't want a shiny surface because the paint will not stick to that. All right, so I have the valve stem taped up. I have my index cards making my little tire protector thing here. I have my primer. So now, it's time to get the primer. <laughs> We have the wheel primered. Looks pretty good. We're gonna let it dry for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Now let's take the Krylon Fusion Metallic Dark Metal. Let's go ahead and start spraying. <laughs> It has excellent coverage for the first coat. I'm going to let this sit for about about 10 minutes. I'll do another coat, another 10 minutes, do another coat. I got that. Probably two coats of clear. So I will be back uh, once I'm done spraying the clear. So now I gotta do this three more times. All right, 
right so here it goes on the 225-35 and the 235-35 on the stock wheels and this color is actually like almost on point perfect like that's probably the closest to a rattle can store bought non-custom paint match is what you probably gonna get I mean that's pretty close there now I definitely need some spacers probably a 20 or a 25 it's a little bit better fitment so I need to figure that out uh, but the car is clean I'm about to go meet up with this guy I met uh, named PJ he's a a and graduate he's an awesome videographer and a photographer so he want to take the pictures of the car I hate that you know I got the stocks on here and not the weds but you know they'll be back at some point or another but until next time I'll see y'all later if you're riding on stocks leave a comment but until next time peace